everyone, welcome to the Uke Stuff YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be taking a look at this product. It's the Fret Zealot. And the Fret Zealot is a product that was created to help you to learn how to play um, ukulele, actually guitar first. And the whole concept is a little different than uh, some other products on the market. Where Papulele was really kind of the first in this territory where it had LED lights that showed you um, where to put your fingers to play certain things. So with that in mind, um, the Fret Zealot is a unit that you apply yourself. So instead of uh, buying a ukulele with these things installed on it, you can actually buy the kit. They're about $140 from the website. Um, and it's uh, 3M tape that you put the markers onto your ukulele and then um, however you interact with it the lights will show you up show up and tell you where to put your fingers depending on what you're doing so um, basically the unit comes with a battery pack that also is rechargeable okay so you're not dealing with uh, just batteries but it's it's rechargeable battery pack um, USB mini and then um, this is also the Bluetooth segment and the rest of everything else here. And you can see they give you a capo that it screws on that just clips to the top of your ukulele. And then that plugs into there. So if you don't really want to deal with the heavy weight of it, you can unplug this. And then you can stick that um, actually a little bit further up and um, between your tuning pegs. And then um, you just have the sticker on your ukulele. Now I'll talk about a bunch of things as we go, but um, right now it's on a light show. As you can see, the lights are flashing and there's a bunch of different settings you can do. That's one called Boat. That one's called Rainbow. This one's called Sparkler. You've got Tractor Beam right here. Phaser. Slow Wave. Fast Wave. Rainfall double helix, and double slash, and those are just kind of fun things that you can do with with a light show. Then there is a play function where they have songs, and I'll just show you a demonstration of this. Um, if I just take, it has a bunch of, of composers and, and so forth, so I'll take a look at this Vivaldi thing here, and it's gonna pull up the Largo from Concerto in D, and I can select that. And Fred Sellett wants to access the microphone. So I'll say OK. And then um, you have normal playback or AI mode. But you can see what it's going to do is it's going to be looking for you to play certain things. I was listening for. There we go. see where it's showing you where to put your fingers now that whole song index to me is a little strange um, it doesn't really follow a tempo and I'm, I'm kind of used to listening to recording that go with it so I'm, I'm not so big on that there is a tuner so as you play it's going to ask you to play each string and it'll tell you what to do as you can see on little side things is tighten the string loosen the string this could be a little less sensitive there's your E and there's your A so you have a tuner and then there's also a metronome if you want to learn it or to use it and it just it's just a metronome uh, sort of like this and you can change number of beats per minute and how many beats per bar. But um, the, the thing that really got me with this product isn't just the lights lighting up. It's this learn section. Um, the chords are pretty standard and it shows you that blue lights will mean your first finger. Green is your second M. Yellow is your ring finger, A. And uh, pinky uh, P I M A, actually thumb P I M A. We're missing the pinky there, but the pinky would be the fuchsia. So you say okay, I understand that, 
And then um, you can go in here and say, okay, I want to play the C major chord. And you can see right here, it says that I should play the C chord with that finger. So, and then it's matching the diagram, these little buttons on the diagram, and I'll be putting this up here. Hopefully I can sync this. Um, you can see that the diagram, I'd love for that diagram to have a little bit larger buttons. That'd be kind of cool. Um, other things it has are notes and scales. So you can look at individual notes, like where would all my, my C notes be on, on the instrument? So C, the second octave, is going to be uh, blue, green, and so forth. But right now I'm looking at the scale mode rather than the note mode. And um, in the scale mode, the root is C. So, and this is the other one that's kind of a little bit, I know why they did it, but on this top strip of LED lights, the very, very top indicates the nut, and then the next row indicates the first fret. Now, when they show you it installed on another ukulele or like how to install it they always put these at the bottom towards each fret and by the way there's a concert in a tenor version but i found that having that row of lights which is supposed to be the nut kind of in the middle-ish of that first fret really bothered me so i moved it all the way up i kind of wish that there was a way that they could separate that a little more um i know they have to be flexible and adjustable in what they do but um, you know, it's it was too easy to expect that top row to be actually what you're supposed to play down. So if you didn't know what you were doing, you you just have to keep aware of that. That that top row has the nut on the top. It's supposed to be the nut because there's not a a sticker for above the nut. Now that'd be I guess my other suggestion is maybe they make a sticker that goes above the nut, so then you know that that's like that, and then the connection would come up above the nut on this part of the neck rather than right there again i don't think they're going to change it at this time but just uh, that's my feedback was that having that double row right there kind of threw me off which is why i moved the positions above versus at the down towards the fret on each of these and that was a personal choice of mine so um it shows you a scale and what notes you need to play so c v open d then you have a choice of an e here and an F here, and a G, or you can go up the scale here, E, F, G, A, then you have A, B, C, D, E, and F, and it gets you through the first, um, what is it, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frets, which really gets you into the second, um, second position, really not a, a problem, really, I mean, for, all intents and purposes yeah you could say maybe the you'd want it to go another three frets but there's really no point in it why by the once you get that second fret position you can start to learn the other positions down the road so that's what you're looking at here on on notes and scale mode now let's also this and this is where right here finally this idea of the fret zealot was the coolest to me right now they've got videos from justin guitar teaching ukulele and the ukulele teacher and i'll just show you this a little bit um so so here is an example of um, hound dog by ellis presley and it's the ukulele teacher's video and it says video unavailable that's interesting so i'll go back and see if i can do here comes the sun Hello, okay, teacher. so it's the like ukulele teacher. teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll ahead here a little teacher. bit. Like now, as he's teaching the riff, it's actually synced to the video. That's pretty darn amazing. And in fact, that is what I had talked to... When I was working with Papalele and talking with Papalele, that's one of the things I said is I said, this would be a great device if you could sync it to some of these play along videos or or maybe like the ukulele teachers videos and and have it show that. Well, someone has gone through from Fret Zealot and has manually entered which fingers need to light up at which point of a video so that you can play that with it. That is amazing. And that's the next step of learning. 
Now, of course, the negative part is the ukulele teacher there only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven songs currently listed. Uh, Justin Guitar has his beginner course of one of uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven videos, and the beginner songs one, two, three, four, five, six, six beginner songs. So the library still isn't really that large, but you can see where it's going. And I even suggested people at Freck Zealot was how about syncing up some of the play alongs to those two and they said well yeah we can do that but it's all an issue of effort right um to do that and to add to the library is additional work uh, this isn't them speaking this is me speaking and hours i mean it takes hours to create the videos imagine how much time it takes to go through a video and to sync it because that's not an artificial intelligence doing that that's a human be being telling you know the fret zealot and the bluetooth connection you need to flash it this time in order to make that show so i think the potential of that is gigantic um game changing and i really like that so that is the future there when they get uh again the song library a little more straightened out so it's not just showing you know the tablature in those parts and when they get this part where um th they have a huge library of songs from ukulele teachers online that are that are in sync with this device that's going to be amazing and that might be a reason alone to buy it i mean it really might now you might say why not buy the populele instead of the fret zealot and there's i i think really there's two reasons for it one is on the populele you get the populele and either you like it or you don't there is a new second version of that which i have not purchased or used just as a side note um, i've noticed that enya also sells a self light up ukulele but i don't believe that it's sold here in the united states yet and there might even be one other one so the fret zealot does have some competition in that category but again you're buying that instrument and then that one always has that um, when you're dealing with the fret zealot you are installing this on a ukulele that you already exist you're turning this into a uh, basically a, a tutorial help for you so you're doing it not buying it that way so i think that's it and then i think the second reason is if they're going to be state-of-the-art syncing videos to the fingers that's a win-win um, and in time that surpasses the content that i saw on the populele so um, that's good. Now, here's the criticisms I have of this, and I just I'm gonna lay them out there. Again, this one was sent to me for review, and um, so just so that you know that some some criticisms. It this unit does make it much heavier to hold. It does become neck heavy when you have the the fret zealot controls up here. So that's one thing to be aware of. Number two, I found that my preference of ukulele action at the first fret did cause buzzing on a couple of different instruments. So I first had this installed on my Aklat um, tenor bamboo that I had recently reviewed. And it was very striking because these black things really, really stood out on that very pale bamboo wood. But unfortunately, these little LED strips are not that tall, but they were tall enough that they caused buzzing. Now, you might be hearing some buzzing when I'm just playing alone like that. That really isn't the Fred Zealot's fault. That's my fault for installing this three times on an instrument. So uh, that has nothing to do with the Fred Zealot. But the original time it did buzz because the string was making contact way up here with very low action. So you're gonna need a ukulele that has a little bit less than ideal action. I'm not saying it has to be super high at the nut, um, but it just, it can't be as low as I generally like it, which is 0.5 millimeters or lower. I, I just, I would do that as a caution. And um, if you do have some buzzing, you're gonna have to look at some solutions if you wanna use a fret zealot, if you do have the action set that low to raise it a little bit. Um, Second, I already talked about the fact that I wish this nut strip was not a part of the first fret strip because that really threw me off when it was in the middle of that first fret. So that that was that was an issue. Um, and then the the last thing that I would say 
again is uh, the real challenge is if you have this and you install it and you find that there's buzzing and then you have to move it um, there is a negative about having to remove it um, again I don't it comes off there's not a problem with that but to get it to truly stick down on the next instrument um, it, 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 that's unfair to the fret seller to expect that. So that's really not a complaint. That's just a be aware. And it has like an extra grippy strip um, at the bottom and at the top to help that hold. But as, as you can kind of guess, that's that kind of didn't work. And I suppose if you really needed to, if this thing was really getting in your way, you could try to feed it a couple different ways in here to get it out of your way. Um, if you really had to, you could add another piece of very adhesive uh, tape. This won't damage your finish, I don't believe. Um, although, if you leave it on there for a long time, it is possible that uh, light and so forth could indicate on your fretboard where it was and where it wasn't. If you're looking for a device that can help you learn how to play ukulele and really be on the cutting edge, um, I don't have a problem with that. Now, there are going to be some people that will say, well, you shouldn't be looking at your fingers anyway. And to them, I just say, you know what? Again, this is ukulele. This is what a lot of people just play to bring them joy. And if they find that something like this that they can look at while they're learning, you know, and do so without playing it like that, or, you know, like like some of my middle school students would try playing like that, if they're just looking down occasionally with their fingers, I think I've even seen the best ukulele players in the world occasionally um, look and watch to see what they're doing beyond just feeding that. Oh, and I don't know if you noticed this, but you also get a simulated fifth marker, side marker dot, and seven side marker dot on the side of it. So um, that's really it. Um, I'd love to see the library continue to grow. Um, I imagine with technology over time, this module can get smaller. I imagine on a guitar, um, I don't know if I don't know what the guitar size is, but I'd imagine this is a little bit more manageable on a guitar. Um, but it is heavy. It is heavy, and it does add weight to the head of your ukulele. And then, of course, if at some point you decide that you don't want to use it anymore, then you do have to go through the process of taking it off, um, which again isn't hard. And installing it wasn't bad either. Um, I on the Aklot, I removed all the strings, actually replaced the strings. So second time within a month that I did that. Um, but on the Aklot, I went and cleaned the fretboard with, with you know, a really nice microfiber cloth. Made sure it was free of debris. Laid it out there, and um, eventually, by the time I got to this one, so I tried it on a second ukulele, and I was still getting the buzzing. So then I went to this one that doesn't have as nice of action. And sure enough, um, it was it doesn't buzz if I just hold that little corner down. So ultimately, if I wanted to leave the fret cellet on there forever, I might need to do something a little extra to give it a little more grab right there. Your fret cellet isn't going to do that. Remember, I took this off one ukulele, took it off another ukulele, put on this one, and then repositioned it until I was happy, as happy as I could be with that top line. So that's the fret zealot. You also, you know, you get the charging cable with it, um, you get a manual, you get a sticker, and you get that app, which is, um, I think, very functional and very nice. I liked it a lot. So check it out, fret zealot, uh, about $140 for ukulele. You can get in the concert size or the tenor size. They also have the fret zealot for guitar, if you want to learn how to play guitar. And again, for some people, whatever they can do to take that next step, maybe this is it for you. So that's the Fret Sell It, and this has been the Uke Stuff channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.